Hi guys, my Saturday words of wisdom. We're approaching the last week of January. If you started training in January and you're still dieting, your training's still going well, everything's going, you know, you're really feeling strong, okay? Absolutely outstanding. Give yourself a pat on the back, okay? Don't give up. Keep on going. Just do not give up. But today, I'm going to outline reasons why I think diet fails. In the, in the first reason I'm going to outline, okay, is a lack of willpower. To get where you want to be, it's a long journey. There are going to be ups and downs. It is going to be tough. It is going to require all your strength and all your discipline. But once you're in that zone, the endorphins are flying. There's absolutely no stopping you. Second point in question, a poor support structure. We all need support. 90% of my clients, okay, who have achieved amazing results always have a positive person behind them and a reinforcing social structure. If you don't want to drink, your friend should say, well done, I'm not force you to drink. You want to take away all that negativity, take away all the negative people in your life and just focus on adding positivity and adding positive people into your life. Third point is unrealistic expectations. For example, I've just rocked up into the gym now and I think in two weeks, I'm going to look like Arnie. I've got news for you. It's not going to take two weeks. It's not going to take two years. It's going to be longer than that. I would explain to all my clients, okay, you're gonna have ups and downs and don't aim too high. We take obviously each day, each week as it comes, small, manageable, small yet manageable steps. That's what we're gonna focus on. Fourth point, fourth point in question, okay, is your lack of clear goals. We've already mentioned, okay, unrealistic goals can scupper progress and motivation. So too though, can a lack of clear and precise goals. When a client comes to me first, okay, I map out a journey with my clients. I draw a plan of where we're gonna go and how we're gonna get those steps, step by step. So we all know which way we're gonna go and when you reach each waypoint, okay, you're closer to that final destination. I know this, I know this sounds mad, but when people's diets fail, a lot of them as well is because they're too goal orientated. Look, like I've said before, and I'll say it again, training has ups and downs. A life does throw us curveballs every now and then. Look, if you fall off the wagon, you've had a couple of drinks, okay? You've had a, a cheat meal, don't know what? Bugger it, okay? Dust yourself down the next day, we go again. One bad meal is not the end of the world, as in one good meal is not gonna make you, you know, superhuman. Fifth and final point is all down to fad dieting. When you follow a fad diet, what happens, okay? You're gonna create excessive restrictions. When you create excessive restrictions, you're gonna get miserable because you've taken things out you enjoy. When you get miserable then, what's gonna happen? You're gonna crave those things. For example, I always use this example of dry January. People, okay, will crave, they've taken out beer, they've taken out wine, and over the two to three week period, they're absolutely miserable as sin. They're absolutely gagging for a beer. And what happens? They'll break. And they'll drink more in that one day than they would have in the three or four weeks of January. So fat dieting doesn't work.